Okay, I had to get on my phone and I hope that my phone stays connected. So anyways, can you guys hear me? Can you guys see me? I like have it all set up and propped up now because my computer is clearly not gonna be, not gonna do the trick. Um, this really sucks though because, okay. Okay, yay. Hi Janelle. Hi Erica. Okay, yay. You guys could see me? Is it like, is the screen right? Because I have my phone sideways. I usually don't do this sideways like this. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. It seems to be working now. All right. Okay, let's do this. So, <laughs> I we had a little bit of technical difficulty, so I'm going to just dive right into the training. Okay, yay. Thank you, Haley. Okay, thanks, Danielle. All right. I am Krista Parney. I started with the company back in September of 2017. I had a prior business, a small business. I was totally anti MLM and I'm not going to get into like a whole lot of my story. I just want to give you guys a little background on me. For those of you who don't know me, um, you can go ahead and listen to my podcast. I kind of go through like my whole story of what I did before and everything like that too. But anyways, I started in this business and a couple things that I'm going to go over with you guys right now that I knew right away, which I'll go in and elaborate a little more, but something that those, the business that I was in prior taught me was that people are very impulsive. Okay. So if they see a post, they're going to get excited. If they're at a friend's house and they're talking about it, they're going to be excited. They're excited in that moment. So I'm just going to start. Um, I just wanted to mention that a little bit, but I'm going to start with, I had notes on my phone. That was another reason why I didn't want to use my phone, but whatever, I'm just going to wing it. So the first thing that I feel like is the most important thing that you can do when you are recruiting a VIP is care more about them than you. So what I mean by that is you need to care more about their hair problem or helping them or changing their hair. And we're talking about VIP recruitment right now. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be live on the Money official page talking about market partner recruitment. But right now we're just sticking to customer base, okay? So you need to care. You know what? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to have to move this down because I feel like I have to like look up. Hold on. I'm so sorry. This whole phone thing really messed me up today. Okay, now I don't feel like I'm like this. Anyways, so the first thing you need to do is you need to care more about them than yourself. So when you go on, and this is something that you guys literally have to like mentally not think about completing a block, not thinking about getting a bonus, not thinking about, you know, and I know this is hard because obviously we're all here for business and we all want to make money and we all want to complete our blocks and we all want to get, you know, the most VIPs that we can. But when you have that sort of mindset, it comes off a little more desperate. Okay. So if you almost thought about it, like it did absolutely nothing for you. And I know, again, this is like a mental thing that you have to you have to genuinely work on. But if you literally think about them or their husband or whatever it is, the whole vibe of your conversation or whatever it is is gonna be completely different. You're only gonna care about how you can help them. So recruiting VIPs has always been something that I feel like has come really natural for me because A, I love our VIP program. There is not another online store or another online anything that gives you that great of a deal all the time as a customer. There's not. There's literally nothing. There's companies that do flash sales, and I've said this from the very beginning to my girls that have trained them. I have literally told them, stop treating every single flash sale like it's the only time that you should be working your business. Every single day is a flash sale with money, you guys. We have a one-time lifetime membership fee of $19.99 that 
well, I mean, obviously things have changed on that, so you have to read the FAQs, but we plan on our customers ordering monthly or bi-monthly, so lifetime would be the $19.99. So you pay that one-time membership, and I always explain it to people like this. You, when I'm recruiting a VIP customer, I'm excited about it. Your excitement level is going to be something that will make or break that conversation or that sale or that close as well. So you need to make sure that you are very, very confident in our program and what it what it has to offer. If you have to go look up other like um, customer rewards or whatever it is, you guys, you don't even get anything until you literally spend like $200. I mean, even Nordstrom, I love Nordstrom. They do great rewards. We're not getting a discount until we spend $200 and then we're getting a $20 Nordstrom note back. So we literally have a program where you get a discount all the time. So I am always very, very excited when people ask me, well, how can I get my hands on money? Well, we have this amazing program. Our VIP program is going to allow you to have 15% off free shipping all the time on orders over $84. And obviously, I always kind of highlight this. Um, one thing that has worked really, really well for me is graphics, you guys. It's so simple. I don't want a bunch of you asking me for the graphic after this. I want you to go and I want you to make the graphic. You can download the app Canva. You can download the app Word Swag. It's super, super, super simple. And you can write all the bullet points of why being a VIP customer is the best, most efficient way for you to get our product. Um, obviously, retail, I don't even know retail. Like, I don't ever, ever, ever sell retail because I'm that confident in our VIP membership. So anyways, let's rewind. The first thing you need to do is you need to care about the customer more than you care about making a sell for yourself. The second thing you need to do is you need to be excited. You need to love this VIP program. Something that I feel like a lot of girls have ran into a wall doing, and every single time I ask them, they're like, I'm great at recruiting market partners. I can't get a VIP for the life of me. Or I just can't get a VIP. I am not good at getting VIPs. I can't get people to do it. And I ask them, what do you think about the VIP program? Would you do three orders? Is that something you would commit to? Or is that something, do you have commitment issues? And they're like, oh my God, it like hits them. And they're like, you're right, you're right. And it's like that epiphany moment where you have to let the customer be the decision maker. You can't take something that you feel on your own. Maybe you do have commitment issues. Maybe that's why you signed up as a market partner because you don't have to have any minimum, any quota, whatever, every month. I now have every single thing on auto ship because that's easier for my lifestyle. And that's another thing that I sell to people on the fact that you don't even have to do anything, girl. It just replenishes and you could go on there and you could change it. You don't have to go to the store. You don't have to worry about running out and like literally not using, you know, I mean, how many people have ran out of toilet paper and had to use paper towels? Like now I have that on auto ship because I never want to run out. It's the same thing with shampoo. People don't want to run out of it, especially when they're using it and they love it. So be excited about it. Change your mindset like literally study it and become obsessed with it because when you are excited about talking about something, people are going to attract to that and they're going to be excited too. I mean, it was so funny because yesterday I was in our boat and my baby started like crying when we started, you know, when we put his life jacket on or whatever. And I like made it exciting for him. I started doing things that were making him laugh and whatever. It's all, I know that's really kind of a silly analogy, but it's all about like the mindset of it. So if you make it exciting for them, they're not going to think about the things. I mean, they get a free product with every order over $84. And I don't even really go into the whole $84 thing. I have it in like a little small print because I want them, the ultimate goal, you guys, is to get them to order more. So another thing I do, and this is how I'm very, very consistent with my um, <clears throat> VIP sales every month, not just my recruiting, but my sale or my, 
active, that's what it is, my active VIPs is because when I, and I'll run through this super quick, you guys, I'm not going to take up your whole day, but I do want to go over like start to finish kind of how it works with me when you become a customer, because I think there's a lot of things that you might go, oh, why am I not doing that? That's like way more simple or why am I not breaking it down like that for them? So we have the first two things. Um, and now I'm going to talk to you guys about how I do it. When I get someone who reaches out to me, which first of all, the only way you're going to get people to reach out to you is if you are constantly posting and talking about it. So this is where it comes in. And you know, like when you're recruiting market partners, and I'll talk about this in my video tomorrow, where you have to like really touch on all the, you know, color personalities. Like some people might like the vacation. Some people just want to do it for the money. Some people want to do it for the community. Some people want to do it for, you know, whatever it is. It's the same thing with a customer, except in a different light, because you have to reach every single person's hair type. So constantly talking about this person's results, posting before and afters of, you know, ethnic hair, kids hair, men's hair, women's hair, blonde hair, brunette hair, red hair, colored hair, frizzy hair, curly hair, whatever it is, okay? You have to go ahead and hit all of those points. And I think that that's probably the biggest thing that people miss is they just talk about theirs. Or they just talk about, you know, the, the, you don't, you're not talking about, you're talking about your hair, but someone with ethnic hair over there is not going to care about your blonde straight hair. She's going to be like, well, that don't work for me because she's never brought that up. You always, always, always have to be educational, okay? So being educational about what our products do is going to broaden your audience. If you're just focusing on what it does for you, that's the only type of customer you're going to get. If you're not talking about the dude, then you're not going to recruit any, you know, which I'm telling you right now, here's a little tip. If you can sell the dude on the men's line, the wife is for sure going to get it. Because sometimes it's like a, you know, oh, well, honey, I'll get you yours and then I'll get mine next month or whatever. Okay. So then here's the other thing. I just want to walk you guys through the start to finish of what it is. So I'm constantly posting before and after photos. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me and you'll see in my stories every single day, I post something about money, whether I'm out on the river and I'm posting, you know, what I do to my hair. We're constantly doing something to our hair, right? We're styling our hair for a night out. We are, you know, I don't know, going to sleep with an oil treatment. We're detangling our kid's hair. We're trying to get our husband's hair to grow back. Whatever it is, okay? You have to constantly post about it. If you're worried about annoying people, you need to get over yourself because you're going to annoy people regardless of what you post, whether it be your dog, whether it be, you know, your kids. I mean, how many of you see someone become a mom and you're like, oh my gosh, if this girl would just stop posting her kid every single day, right? Until you become a mom and then you're like, okay, I fully understand it. It's the same thing with this. You can't think about that. This is a business. You're not out to become some big Instagram, you know, or Facebook celebrity. Like, you're here to make money. You're here to work. You need to reach the people that want or will end up using this product. And you're not going to reach them with posting one time and then being like, well, I didn't get the response that I thought I was going to get. Being consistent is so major. And the type of people who get annoyed get annoyed. Yes. Yes. Seriously, Greta. So anyways, um, that's like the biggest thing. You have to be consistent, you guys. If you're not being consistent and posting about it, your VIP, you know, number probably isn't the greatest. So would you rather have 20 VIPs in a month or would you rather, you know, not bug people. <laughs> and I don't even think of it as I'm bugging people because I'm so passionate about it that I'm really just informing. Like, I feel like I'm doing them a favor. Like, girl, I got you. I'm posting this and I'm posting that. And every single time I do something, it opens people's eyes, whether it be one person or whether it be five people. It's always opening their eyes to, oh my gosh, you really can blow dry your hair a lot faster. Or, wow, I didn't know that you guys even had a men's line that would grow, you know, your husband's hair back. Or, I didn't know this. 
So it's constantly, it, it is all about, you know, the consistency of this is your job. If you want it to pay like a job, you have to treat it like a job. Would you show up to work at Starbucks if you were the barista one day a week to make people coffee? No, you're going to show up every single day. So it's the same thing with this business is you need to show up every single day. You need to be posting about what our you know, products can do for all different types. And that's how you could kind of mix it up, okay? That's how you're not gonna bug people, is you're not just gonna bug them about the VIP, VIP, VIP. Make it interesting. People love ed being educated. Being educated is the biggest form of sales that you can possibly do, is educate people on the product. Ed pick a product every week, okay? So say, this week I'm gonna do the oil. This week I'm gonna do, you know, um, the men's line this week i'm gonna do whatever it is okay so that is what that's what i do i constantly am posting about it am i annoying people probably i don't really care whatever and um okay so now i'm gonna go into what i do and how i kind of go through the process from start to finish i was going over that because i wanted to let you guys know when i say when someone reaches out to me it's not because I have this big social media following, you guys. Go look at some of my Monate posts or go look at some of my posts on my Instagram. I have some that have 5,000 likes. I have some that have freaking 300 likes. It's not about that, okay? When I say, and that's why I wanted to go over this with you guys, when someone reaches out to me, they're like, whoa, I didn't know that you guys had something that would work for ethnic hair. Or whoa, I didn't know that you had this or whatever. Can I get some more information on that? So then I go into very, very, very simple. You guys, very simple. I'm like, oh yeah, girl, let's get you hooked up. Boom, send the VIP um, graphic. I don't send paragraphs. First of all, I don't have time for that at all. Like, I don't have time in my life to send paragraphs. I don't like copy and pasted messages. This is something that I train my girls on every single day, even when you are cold messaging, when you are recruiting on, you know, um, for market partners or VIPs, if you're reaching out to someone that you feel like, hey, they just posted about postpartum, I'm gonna reach out to them. Never do a, never ever ever do a copy and pasted message. Like, always make it personal. Always find something that you relate to with that person, and that's for cold messaging. Now, when someone reaches out to you, which you guys, I've reached out to a lot of people too. I have seen them post about dry shampoo and literally gone in my bathroom the way that I was, done a video with the candle, with the dry shampoo that this girl just posted, and then done ours, and she ended up, you know, asking me if she could try it. And she bought a bottle of dry shampoo. So that was just recently. But anyways, that's just an, an example. Now, I send the graphic. Boom. This is how you could sign up as a VIP. Um, the next thing that I do immediately, well, I'm sorry. Actually, I don't send the graphic first. I ask them, hey, girl, yeah, let's get you set up. What's your hair type and what's your hair goal? Sorry, I kind of got confused for a second. So what's your hair type? What's your hair goal? They send me. And then um, I'll go over a graphic. So the, a graphic is something that you can make. Everyone can make their own. I don't want you guys, I get a lot of messages. Oh, can you send me that graphic? No, girl. You could go make your own. It literally takes five minutes. And you could do it on Canva, Word Swag, whatever app that you guys use. And you could put 15% off, you know, all the different, all the different factors. One time, $19.99 fee, 15% off. I'm going over what, I'm, I'm telling you guys what's on the graphic. So it's literally all the details. Earn $20 back when you refer a friend, earn free product, earn a birthday uh, free product, you know, all the details of being a VIP. So then I ask them what their hair type is, okay. So this is a huge thing that I feel like really, really, really helps me, okay? Is I give them a like list of products that they need, okay? So then it kind of like freaks them out. They're like, oh my God, this is gonna be so expensive. How am I gonna do this right now? This is gonna be a lot of money. And then I hit them with this. But don't worry, let's get you set up with the shampoo, conditioner, blowout cream this month. And then next month we'll do the oil 
And then the following month, you may need, you know, your shampoo and conditioner again. Or if you still have that, we can get you the hairspray, this, that, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh my God, I make them feel like they are getting a payment plan. Is that not like the most genius thing ever? Because everyone loves a payment plan. I don't care how much money you got. If you're like, oh, okay, cool. Like I could break it up. They're so excited about that, okay? So now $84 seems cheap. And I'm gonna go over a little bit with this um, on the market partners. So you guys definitely have to watch that for market partners too. It literally completely changes their mindset to where they don't feel like $84 is a lot of money anymore because all of this other, you know, all of this product that they need is gonna be this much but then if you break it up for them, they feel like they just got hooked up on like on the next level. Okay, so now everyone, everyone's talking about my graphic, graphic, graphic. You guys, it is literally so simple. I'm gonna tell you and I want you guys to make your own. Do your own work, okay? Don't find a graphic on Pinterest and post it. People take time to do this. Some people pay for someone to do this don't steal graphics. It is so simple to make your own or there's graphic designers all over these like Upwork has where people will do it for you for like 15 bucks, okay? If you can if you don't want to do it yourself, I'm just saying this because having something that is different or your own is going to stand out way more than having something that every other money girl, you know, copied or screenshotted or whatever. And I'm only telling you guys this because this is what I do and you want my help and you want to know how I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I am creative in my own way to be able to reach people without it looking like it's something that, you know, was just copy and pasted or screenshotted. I see some people screenshot stuff and it still says the other person's name up top. And I'm like, no. You guys can't do that. Don't do that. So my graphic, it's literally, you could go on, um, let's say Word Swag, okay? It's an app on your phone. This will literally take you guys five minutes, five minutes. VIP perks, okay? Or perks of being a VIP customer or whatever it is. Whatever you wanna put, okay? Be you, do you. Whatever you call it is what you need to put on there, okay? And then you could bullet point or you could star or you can happy face or whatever. You could do them in different fonts or whatever it is that you want to do. You could do one time lifetime or you know what? My, my best advice on this is to put all the perks and then at the bottom put all for a one time membership fee of $19.99. I love unfold too. So you can put 15% off free shipping, earn $20 back with refer a friend, um, birthday gift, free product with every order, and then all for a one-time fee of $19.99. You don't need to go into paragraphs with people. They don't wanna read your paragraphs, you guys. People don't have time to read paragraphs. They have kids, they're driving, they're working, they are busy, they're gonna see it. When they see a paragraph, they think, oh, I'll read that later. Or, oh, I'm driving right now. Maybe they opened it and then you get discouraged because you're like, oh yeah, um, the flex ship. I always talk about the flex ship when people ask, well, what's the three order? You know, it's just keeping it really, really, really simple. So with that graphic, it kind of like pinpoint everything. It pinpoints everything. And what I do is I actually have one that has retail, VIP, and market partner, and I'll go into a little bit on this. I I just wanna to touch on this. So it's a, a graphic with three the three options, and that's really what I usually send to them. Because maybe you have someone who wants to sell it and you didn't know, I know that's not VIP recruitment, but I'll um, touch on that later for you guys. And I don't know, it's just, it's really, really keeping it simple for them. And that's how I feel like I work the best with people because they don't have to read paragraphs. Now, then someone says, okay, awesome. How do I get set up? Then I go 
and I'm like, no worries, girl. What's your email? I'll get you set up and then I'll email you a checkout link. It's literally, you guys, this takes two seconds. But A, you want to make sure that they're not struggling in the back office because if you are constantly giving people your website, they're going to have, they're going to run into complications. They're going to run into issues on their phone. They're not going to know how to X out of the promotions in the corner. They're not going to, I mean, it's just, it's bound to happen. Okay. So what I usually do is I just say, you know, what's your email? I'll send you a checkout link and all you have to do is check out. I'll set you up for this month and your flex ship and blah, 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 blah. And obviously that allows them to see, to agree to the terms, A, to B, be able to see a visual of everything. They can add stuff to their cart if they want. So if they get it and they're like, oh, I want to add the dry shampoo or the hairspray or whatever, at least I set them up. Do you worry they won't finish it out? No, I don't because I have, I, 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 they're so excited about it with me that they're excited to get the email. Okay, so with that email, for those of you who do not know, we have a save and send option, okay? All you have to do is you can, I, I prefer, and I wanted to show you guys this on my phone, but the computer didn't work. Um, personally, I use the hair quiz as a recruiting tool. I don't feel like the hair quiz gives the most efficient results for products or what I would recommend. Um, so anyways, I wanna, let me let me finish going over this and then I'll do a quick Q&A with you guys. So what you can do is, yeah, it's, it's literally, it's the most efficient, best way to make sure your customers are taken care of. And here's another thing, you guys, when you go to a club and you get a VIP table, they are waiting on you hand and foot, right? They don't care about the line over here or what's going on over here. You need to treat your VIPs like VIPs. They are very important people. So you need to make sure you're doing everything you can. Do not ever send your website to someone. Help them. Show them. If you are local, you can be with them. Okay? So this is huge. So listen, you can, like I said, I prefer my girls have the app. It's the, it's the best way it doesn't, the website doesn't get glitchy when the website's glitchy, you still have the app. So I do, um, you know, the upgraded $19.99 a month and then you have the, um, oh my gosh, no, I'm not, no, I'm not going to, what are the money apps, you guys? I just click on them. I don't even think about them, but either way. So you have the apps and then you click enroll customer, which if you don't have the apps, you, which everyone should have the apps. First of all, I'm not trying to be salesy right now, but if you are wanting this to pay you like a business, you need to treat it like a business and having $19.99 a month for something where you could send free samples to people connect. Thank you, Greta. Um, the connect app, you literally for $19.99 a month, I have girls that will spend 60 to a hundred dollars on samples. And I'm like, girl, you need the connect app. You tell people, and this is something, another thing that uh, kind of fits in, but um, if someone's super anti-ordering until they try it, the buy, oh, the, okay, thank you, Christina. The Connect app is where you can send them your link to get a free sample, which they're going to get a free sample, and then they can um, just pay for shipping. And people are stoked on that. They're super, super, super excited. So anyways, back to the, back to the checkout. Literally, you can go in and roll VIP. And on the Connect app, it's super simple. You have this business option, and then you click Enroll VIP, okay? So you enroll the VIP, and then it gives you the options, which right now it's super complicated for someone who has never been on our website because the promotions popped up, right? The oil. Well, when the oil pops up, people don't know that they need to like X out or whatever. So what you do is you pick their product, their initial product for them. So let's say that it's Renew Shampoo, Revitalize Conditioner, and Blowout Cream. So you pick that, and then you pick their Only For You, which obviously if there is a month where we have multiple Only For Yous, I give them that option as well. Okay, girl, what do you want for your free product? They get super excited. And then you can add that in there. So add their Only For You. I really wish I had my phone right now. Can you tell? 
Um, you can add their only for you in there and then you click continue and it's going to pull up their flex ship. So typically I do an oil for flex ships because everyone needs an oil. So um, if I don't do an oil, I do the Rejuva beads and a mask. And this is just like what I know that people want and will need. So um, you click continue one time, continue to the flex ship. And then you click on the flex ship and you put in their oil or whatever it is that you want for their uh, flex ship. You don't click continue again, you click save. And then boom, an email input pops up, okay? And then you just literally copy and paste their email, put it in there, say, or and then save. And then it sends them an email and it pops up like little notification to you that it was sent. Now, people are gonna be like, I didn't get it. I didn't get the email. It's not gonna be from Monet and it's not gonna be from Susie or Sally or Krista. It's gonna be from Vibe, okay, which is our website. Now, I don't know if this is gonna change after Monations when we release all of the new um, like back office and everything, but for now, that's what it is. It's from Vibe, V-I-B-E. And then people are like, oh, never mind, I have it, just kidding. So anyways, yes, huge, huge game changer, most efficient way for you guys to, to get those VIPs. And when people say, are you scared of them not checking out? When you make something so exciting for them, where you're like, okay, girl, let me know as soon as you're done so that I can add you into my VIP, um, my, I call mine my VIP lounge on Facebook. I do giveaways in there, I do incentives, I do like, you know, customer appreciation things where I'm giving away gift cards or maybe it's like product or whatever it is, okay? So then they're like, ooh, I wonder what's in the VIP page and they're excited, they wanna go check out, and they want that link to get to the VIP page. It literally is just all a mind game, you guys. That's all it is, is it's a mind game, and if you're excited, they're gonna be excited, and they'll wanna get started, and then you're like, okay, make sure you send me before and after photos, and it's just, you're building relationships, don't talk to people like they're customers, talk to them like they're your friends, Use voice memo. If someone sends you something and they're concerned about this or want that, voice memo them back. Be excited, talk to them, let them hear it in your voice. Okay, um, I can't scroll up on my phone, so if anyone has any questions real quick, uh, we could probably do questions for like five minutes or a couple minutes. Uh, thank you, Christina. And then yeah, that was the end of it. I add them to my VIP page. Um, I know sometimes it's hard to get everyone, you know, in there. Some people don't have Facebook, but whatever. Oh, Gina, you're you're so sweet. Thanks. With the checkout, what if they're like, "This is too much. I can't afford it." Well, they're not gonna say it's too much. They can't afford it because you should have already gone over like what that you know portion of it is and here's the thing a lot of people know how much something is when I'm talking about it on my Instagram story so before they even reach out to me I've kind of already gone over like it's $84 you get three products plus another product free so they're already like kind of informed how do I create a VIP page you literally just go on Facebook and you create a group and it's a VIP group. Yes, it's a group on Facebook. It's private only for my VIPs. I don't let my market partners in there. This page is solely for my VIP customers, not my market partners. I will screenshot things or whatever to show them or share with them how I do things. Do you do more of your work on Facebook or Instagram? So I do all of my team stuff on Facebook and then I do all of my um, like recruiting and networking on Instagram. Yeah, for sure, Christina. How many VIPs would you suggest having? One, <laughs> one VIP. There's no certain amount that if you have two VIPs, three VIPs, four VIPs, 
How exciting is it going to be for them to be able to be like, oh, I could win a $20 Target card or a $10 Starbucks card or a free product? Do you add in potential? Nope. Exclusive only for VIPs. I don't have any potential page, you guys. I use my my myself as, you know, gaining potentials. I don't have time for all these groups and I don't want to overcommit. I'm not going to have this VIP potential page where I, I would much rather focus on my VIPs who are already my VIPs and they win that for giving referrals. So here's some ideas that I've done before as I've done um, before and after photos, which you guys would be blown away what someone will do for 10 bucks, okay? They will go and write a paragraph testimony with before and after photos and they've never reached out to you before to let you know what an insanely amazing transformation their self or their family or whatever has had for a $10 Starbucks card. How do you go about following up with VIPs and their products? So I use MailChimp. Um, I do my uh, search customer in the Vibe in the back office. I go to Vibe Reports and I go to customer search and then I limit it or I edit it to where it's, um, I edit, sorry, I can't read these right now. I edit it to where it's VIP customers only and then I do like the CSV, I think, option and then you could copy and paste all those email addresses. So I'm very, very group oriented. How do you address potentials who say it's just too expensive? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me talking about how, you know, okay, well, this is too expensive, but you could go out to dinner one night and pay for shampoo for three months, or you could give up Starbucks, you know, a couple times a month or whatever it is. Do you remind them about their flagship? No. They get an email, money reminds them about their flagship. And, um, yeah, my customers, I think also giving them, and I've done it both ways, you guys, I've done it to where I sign them up in the very beginning. That's how I did my business. That was the only way that I knew because in, um, in the beginning of this whole business, I had just came over from my wood furniture business where I knew that if someone wanted to do something, you got to jump on that now. So people are very impulsive and going back to that is when someone's ready to buy, you need to jump on that now. You need to be responsive. I have so many people reach out to me and this is really, really insane to me because I get a lot of messages, not even about money, okay, about my kids, about where I'm at, asking where my hat's from, where this is from, blah, 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 blah. And I always, I'm like super, super, super responsive. Ask any girl on my team, like they text me, they're getting a text message back within 20 minutes. So my point is I literally work, worked based off of that like responsiveness and, you know, impulsive, like people are very impulsive about this purchase or whatever it is. Now, when you, and this, this doesn't really go with with the con or with the analogy completely, but you teach people how to treat you. So if you are, you know, like patting their back the whole way through it and not, this is what I love about sending them the link is it kind of gives them their own username, their own pat. It makes them do it on their own to where they feel like they can do it on their own moving forward. Can we update their flex ship for them? So I have some people, a lot of older customers, um, who will be like, I mean, even my grandma, who will be like, I don't know how to do this, honey. Can you help me or whatever? And absolutely, if they reach out to me where they get an email or a customer, I'll just ask them, hey, no problem. Let me log in or we could hop on a call and I can walk you through it, whatever you're more comfortable with. Do you stop following up with people after so many rejections? Okay, so honestly, yes. I'm way more into attraction marketing versus constantly reaching out to someone. So I would rather post about something directed towards her indirectly as far as her hair type or post a before and after that I know will make, like resonate with her so much or whatever it is 
but just being really, really consistent is super important because if you guys are not constantly showing up in someone's face, I mean, think about how many things you've bought online, okay? Think about how many times the Instagram ad has to pop up in order for you to buy that dress. Or think about how many times you smell a perfume in Nordstrom before you actually buy it. Or think about, I mean, it's just, it's the way it is. So it constantly needs to, you need to be in people's faces. You need to. The big challenge is the product recommendations. How do you do that? Okay, so this is something that I feel like a lot of people are just kind of overthinking. Product recommendations, you guys, our products literally have the description on the bottle. So, if someone has fine hair and they want volume, you go for the volume system. Don't overthink it and don't be intimidated and scared. Are you gonna mess up? Probably. My very first VIP customer was my sister-in-law. I gave her the hydration system. She canceled in two weeks, said it made her hair oily. She hated the product. And she decided to let me know that in front of my whole freaking family. So I messed up. I gave her the wrong product. I, she was my first VIP and my first VIP to cancel. It's going to happen. You can't be scared of, you know, accidentally giving. The best thing is now I feel like I'm always very, you know, okay, if you're not loving the product, let's switch it out or whatever. And that's what I utilize those emails for is just, hey, just wanted to touch base. How is every, everyone loving the product? Um, sorry, I always stay in people's spaces. I have people reach out to me and it's going well, then bam, nothing, no explanation. Why? Okay, so here's the other thing. You don't know what's going on in their personal life. You just keep doing you and post. Don't get hung up. That's what people do. They get hung up and then they only care about this one person and getting this one person that they missed five people that just walked past them. Don't get hung up. How did you transition into not micromanaging each VIP account? I literally have more. So um, I sent an email. I send emails regularly. Probably like, I mean regularly meaning like once a month. Hey girl, just touching base. Let me know, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it's when there's a flash sale. And then at the bottom, I always have my information where they can reach out to me directly. Um, just being in contact with them. I'm I'm not, I, would, I l would like to be better on my VIP page posting more. That is somewhere that I feel like would be a good resource to reach, constantly reach your VIP customers. But what's your response to those who are 100% set on canceling? Cancel, girl. 99% of the time when someone is canceling, or saying that it didn't work for them. A, they don't have the money. B, their husband made them cancel. Or C, there's something going on that you don't know about. So constantly trying to talk someone into something that is dead set on no, is you're, you're going to do the runaround. You're just going to do that whole thing. I feel like I have friends that I know that, you know, don't want to spend the money, but will go buy other thing, whatever it is, it's to each their own. Okay. I, I wouldn't waste time. I think that's the biggest thing. I'll end it with this is time is money. So stop getting hung up on things. I mean, Alyssa, I swear to God that happens so much. Bought retail, but didn't get a good recommendation. I would, I would honestly just set them up differently. Um, hopefully it's within 30 days so you can help them return. If it was, let's say a long time ago, I mean, you can always send them samples. You could buy the samples, whatever it is. I mean, I don't know. Okay. I hope this was helpful, you guys, and um, go get yourself some VIPs. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys over at the Market Partner the official Market Partner page tomorrow, and I'll be doing a training on recruiting Market Partners. And that's going to be good. So stay tuned. And then, yeah, if you're not following me on Instagram, um, it's at salvaged soul. Uh, thank you, Julie. All right. Mwah. Bye, guys. Have a good day.